professional development for Discovery Education. Previous to uh, joining Discovery, I served 14 years in education in the Pennsylvania public school system. Uh, our parent company, Discovery Communications, is the number one nonfiction media company in the world with uh, networks such as the Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, uh, and the Science Channel. At Discovery Education, our goal is to provide the most up-to-date instructional content in an interactive and engaging format. In a sense, bringing the world to their world. And this is our students' world. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation study, students spend an average of six and a half hours a day with media. Since they don't take weekends off, that's 45 and a half hours a week, the equivalent of a full-time job. The National School Boards Association commissioned a study in which they found that 96% of all students engage in some form of social networking. And if MySpace were a country, it'd be bigger than France, Germany, and the United Kingdom. Given this, the way our students prefer to consume information and interact with content today, it's no longer acceptable for, acceptable for us to ignore that when we choose instructional materials. When we do look at the way they choose to interact with information, our own research at Discovery Education has shown multiple times that this has a positive impact on student achievement. When used effectively, media and technology in the classroom makes a difference. We've looked at several types of schools, whether it's LA Unified or schools in rural Virginia. We've looked at different grade levels, whether it's math, social studies, or science. We looked at grades three, six, and eight. And regardless of the type of school, the grade level, or subject, when used effectively, student achievement increases. So in addition to this, we should also be providing this. Matt Suter's survival testifies to the human skeleton's extraordinary resilience. But when we consciously want to test our strength, our muscles and bones collaborate to give us maximum power. The human body has resources far beyond what we can imagine. After countless years of research and multiple studies, we know that students learn differently from one another, and yet, in many places, we continue to teach them as if they all learn the same. This is an example of an interactive glossary within Discovery Education Science a way for us to provide information in multiple formats to reach students' different learning styles. So we can take one concept like food chains, we can display the text definition, a short animation on the same concept. If that doesn't reach children, we can show them a short video. The energy for all of the life you see around you comes from the sun. When sunlight strikes a plant, and we can also support their learning with images as well. This is an example of one of our virtual labs, an environment where students can test hypotheses quickly, isolate and manipulate variables in a very safe environment. And when we provide media and technology to students and let them construct their own meaning, they will undoubtedly surprise us. Hometown Heroes is a documentary created by high school students in North Canton City Schools in Ohio that looks at the impact that their town had on World War II. It was a time when soldiers fought against tyranny. Hitler, Mussolini, and Hirohito were determined to expand their boundaries. Pearl Harbor left Americans exposed and enraged. With freedom threatened, the young men of the United States left home to fight on foreign shores. Their efforts produced a bittersweet victory that would impact the world. Our World War II veterans have many valuable stories to share. And for the first time, we're seeing a small number of progressive states encouraging this transition. In the state of Indiana, for example, the State Board of Education sent a letter to all school districts, which, and I quote, encourages them that they should feel no obligation to utilize the standard form of social studies textbooks. As a result, we're currently working with Indianapolis Public Schools to align a number of their pacing guides to rich media assets, such as video, images, audio, and writing prompts. Recently in Florida, they changed their language that defines instructional materials to include electronic media and computer courseware or software that serve as a basis for instruction for each student. On the 8th of this month, Governor Schwarzenegger announced in a new initiative in California, which he stated high school students will have access to science and math digital textbooks by the beginning of the school year. Similar language has been proposed in Texas as well. 
The only caution I would introduce today, though, is that this is fundamentally a change in the way we're asking teachers to engage our nation's students. It is imperative that along with this change, we provide high quality ongoing professional development to teachers as we embark in this new way of learning. Our own data suggests that there is a great degree of variance between districts that utilize ongoing professional development versus those who do not. It's one of the reasons at Discovery we support the Discovery Educator Network, a global community of teachers that we bring together both online and in person who learn, share, and collaborate the best uses of media and technology and share that with, uh, with others. So thank you for your time today. I appreciate your attention to this incredibly important matter.